Hey folks, we're here today with Ben Shervey from Solar and Sat. Now, what we're gonna do is explain how do we use our Victron battery management system. Ben, how are you? Good, thanks Ben, how are you mate? Yeah, real good. It's good. So, you were just saying to us, to us before yep. that regardless of the system and the batteries and the inverters, this part of it is the same. Pretty much, so for the 2000 and the 3000 system that you're currently offering, this will be fairly identical. Obviously it may be slightly different depending on the type of willow that they have, but for the most part, they'll have these two units here mounted in the same location. Mate, tell us, what, what does it do? How do we use the van? How do we use the power and make the most of it? That's it, so in terms of actually things you're gonna use, we've got the digital multi-control. So this fella here is actually what turns the inverter on and off. So if you decide you wanna use your 240 volt power, whether that be you're plugged into mains or you're in the middle of nowhere and you just wanna turn your inverter on, you just flick it on. Out there in a sec, she'll fire up. You can see the aircon there just flickered. Now she's on. All your 240 volt power points are live. You can cook up, make your coffee, whatever you want to do. Turn the aircon on for the 3000 system users. That's it. That's it. Doesn't get much easier than that, does it? That's exactly right. We might go into some of the advanced things you can do with this at the end. But for the most case, that's just turning your inverter on and off. And to turn it off, just as easy. And what about our little gauge over here? Yep, so that's the Victron BMV, the monitor. Effectively, it's telling us exactly what's going on with our battery. So when I click on this here, it'll show us that our battery voltage there is at 13.2. We can keep scrolling and we can see that right now we're using 11 amps. I'm scrolling by using this little plus and minus button on the screen there. If you prefer to talk in watts, you can see we're using 146 watts and that's with all these lights the Willow's got around the place. Yeah. Come down further, we've got the state of charge. So that there says we're at 85.2%. Obviously we're in a shed at the moment, we've got all them lights running. This will run for ages running every single light in this setup. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's magnificent. So nice we don't have to go and get under the bed to do anything. Not Once you guys have got everything fitted up, all our customers have to do is come in, turn this on, yep. and their 240 volt power points will be active. And if they've got the Victron 3000 set up, mm -hmm. they can also run the AC. That's exactly right. There's not a whole lot to remember here. Just on for your 240, off for your 240. You've got the four things you can look at there in the monitor. And as I was saying before, there is some advanced things you can do with this multi-control for the customers that want to. You've got this current limit here. What that does is it limits the 240 coming in. So say for example, they were parked up at a mate's house and they were plugged into a 10 amp plug with like one of those amphibian units. You could actually turn down the current limit and the inverter charger won't pull more than that number. So here, set to 9.5 amps, it will never trip that 10 amp circuit. But everything in the van will still work as normal. You're just not Pulling that dragging as much out of your mate's house and fear of blowing a fuse or a circuit board or something. Is that right? Tripping a, tripping a breaker, yeah, effectively. Okay. Preventing right. any inconvenience. Or if it was raining, you wouldn't want to trip your amphibian and have to walk out in the rain and have to, to turn it back on. Yeah. What it'll actually do is pull 9.5 from the wall and the inverter will actually help compensate if you want to use more power than that. Sure. So they work together seamlessly. For most caravan parks though, you can turn it right up to the full amount and let it use the full 15 amps. So just leave it there and uh, unless you're staying at a mate's place, there's no need to touch that either. That's exactly right. Pretty much just the on and the off. Well folks, that's it for how to use your Victron uh, control panel. There are going to be more how-to videos coming shortly. In the meantime, keep your eye on Solar and Sat's Exploring Off The Grid Facebook and Instagram pages for some exciting stuff on what you can do with your battery and solar and all the power that you can harness from the sun. See you next time.